Hey guys, welcome back. Hope everybody's having a good day. Well, past two weeks I've been doing a lot of upgrades here in the shop. And probably the first thing you see is that uh, I'm facing the camera. And what I've done was installed this little bench here and that fold up legs and the bench will fold down underneath this tabletop over here and go completely out of the way. Uh, yeah, that's, you see that the camera mounted here to it that comes off. I can move it around, move it anywhere here in the shop. And the reason why I did this is that I wanted to make uh, video recordings look a little bit better and, you know, make things run a little smoother when I'm here in the shop doing stuff. Fish on reviews or if I got a piece of equipment that comes in and we want to look at it, see what's wrong with it. You know, it's right here on the little bench. Everybody can see it. We can get a 360 degree view around the piece of equipment without having to, uh, you know, be tied up over here at the workbench. Uh, most time when I'm at the workbench, you know, I got a camera sitting here and or maybe the camera sitting over here and it makes it a little tough sometimes to show some of the video footage I want to see. So that's why I did all these upgrades. Now, it started out with the computer here. I wanted to make some changes to the computer and do some upgrading to that. And the biggest reason is OSB Studio, which is what I'm running right now. Which, you know, I run webcams for um, OSB Studio and there was just some problems with the computer not doing what I wanted to do and one of them was monitor output I can only get two monitors on this computer I needed three maybe four but uh, I could do that so I got a video coming out on upgrading this uh, Asus computer and uh, what I did was went in and I bought a graphics card. It's one of the big ones with the big fans on it, like you see on a gaming computer. Installed that and then found out that the power supply did not support that. So I had to go out and get a power supply and install it in that. Then add some cooling to the chassis. The couple more things I want to do to it, but I think we'll be okay with that right now. And uh, the biggest thing was getting more video output on the computer. And that's exactly what I achieved. So uh, we're running this camera right straight out from front of us. That's a Logitech C920. Uh, we've got camera two here. That's what this one is. So we'll go to camera one. That's another um, Logitech C920. We have the camera here on the side, which faces the bench. That's not a Logitech, it's a, what's it, how you pronounce it, O-N-N, uh, o -N -N. it's from Walmart, but it's a pretty decent little camera, it, it does pretty good. So I've got this camera here, you can see it's facing down at the bench, then the oldest camera I got is this camera here, it's mounted directly overhead, that's an old Microsoft Life cam, and you can see it's kind of dark. You can see some lines in it, and um, I'm going to have to replace that camera because it just doesn't uh, work as good as I want to do. So what I want to do, I want to change the main camera that's uh, facing me, which is this camera. I want to replace it with a camera that I control the video. Now, <laughs> I'll get in that in just a minute, and, and then... Uh, you know, if I can control the video and with a zoom on it, they do make webcams like that. I'm uh, looking at a couple right now, and I'm thinking about replacing this camera with that, and then taking that camera and putting it here overhead. And that'll make the uh, shot from overhead look better, plus the uh, range of this camera I can zoom in, and I can also change some of the video stuff on it by the drivers that you have to install. So if we go back to the life cam, uh, one of the things that I did, you know, I went out and got this uh, cam link. This thing's a little over 100 bucks, and that plugs into a USB port on the computer, and it has HDMI 
that goes in it. And that's what I've been using to run the overhead shot when I've been using that on uh, OBS Studio before. Again, another Walmart special is this uh, Vivitar um, video capture device. Same thing, USB to HDMI output that goes into uh, the back of the computer. And you can just plug your regular handy cam like the uh, Canon GH10 or the, uh, the Sony up there or any, uh, any video device that can put it. Now the thing is between this one and this one is about, this is about 30 bucks with tax. And honestly, I've been playing around with both of them and I haven't really seen any degrading of the video quality by using this so it it works pretty good so that gives me two video capture devices that um, I can use the regular handy cams with and that will help out a whole lot so one of the things that uh, we had a problem with before running OBS studio is the audio input and the way it sounds um, y'all noticed before I used the uh, Blue Ice Snowball microphone. Uh, my son had gave me that for Christmas a couple of years back. And the majority were saying the audio was too low on it. Well, this is what I'm running right here. It's that uh, Blue Ice Snowball cam. You can see it a little better there. I got a little articulating arm so I can uh, move it around however I want it. I found out that you can go into OBS Studio and you can change the uh, audio settings. Uh, you can go in and add filters, noise compression, clipping, all that kind of stuff. Uh, even found a gain control I could add to these microphones. In fact, they've even got the, uh, the Logitech and the own the microphones on it. Got them sounding the whole lot better. Before, they were a little tinny, a little crackling in it. Uh, it just seemed like it picked up everything in the shop that was running. But uh, with these settings, I can now make them sound a little better. So uh, this is what I'm running here is the, the blue ice. So y'all let me know down below how that is sounding now. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this camera here and kind of go handheld with it. I've got it sitting on a little tripod. We can move it around. And you can see this is the one screen here for OBS Studio. I got the other screen to do display capture and stuff on it. And then I got a monitor screen sitting up here. So again, the blue ice snowball. I have the other microphone sitting here that I want to get back running. And I had picked up a, uh, a mixer, but that has some issues with it. I don't know, maybe one day we'll do a video on fixing it. But I need to find another mixer. I don't need nothing that's complicated as the one I got. I just need a simple mixer that I can put in it. Here you can see the uh, overhead Microsoft cam that I got. This is the uh, own cam, which I call it Cam 3. And then Cam 2 back there in the back, you see with the ring light around it. That's the one that uh, you were just watching me on just a moment ago. But the good thing about all these cams, all these cams and microphones, They'll move right over here to the other bench. This place is here to uh, install them in and clip them to the bench. So that should help a whole lot. Got the uh, stereo microscope and the Andestorm microscope sitting over here. When I use it, I just move the Andestorm microscope off. I can use it here and then use the uh, other camera. Plus both of those will tie to the computer and uh, go through OBS Studios. So again, you know, with OBS Studio, the good thing about it is I can come in and I can add different cameras. Like uh, top right here, you see uh, the camera I was just using handheld back on the uh, micro the uh, camera stand pointing at me. I can come in and I can add the side camera here that on the bottom left. Camera that's over to my left here, pointing down at the bench. And I can also... At the top right, uh, excuse me, top left, you can see the uh, overhead cam, which is going to get replaced. Yeah, because you can see those those vertical lines in it. So 
yeah that cam just ain't working that good so I've got to replace it now this like I say this is going to help in doing reviews uh, looking at piece of equipment this and that but I'm working on another video today for another piece of equipment I got in that's going to also tie into all this and uh, it was sent to me from a supplier to do a review on so I think y'all going to like it with the stuff that it'll do and that's one another reason why I went ahead and set all this up because I need to go ahead and get this video done and uh, get it to the supplier so they can review the video of the review so uh, I can get this uploaded and uh, show y'all what we got planned for the future. Anyway, guys, uh, just you know, just a little short video to kind of tell you what's going on here in the shop. Uh, like I say, I will be uploading the video probably this week on the upgrades to the computer things that we've seen. You know, price of that computer and compared to what it would do, it's not bad at all. It's a it is a budget machine. So, uh, yeah, y'all will see all that in the other video. But again, you know, uh, like I said, all this stuff is removable. It will move right over to the other bench. So when I want to use OBS Studio back here on the back bench, uh, I can get these cameras in place, can see what I'm doing. Sit here, you know, with a camera, you know, having to look behind the camera to work and stuff, it's going to help with that for uh, making different videos. But, you know, these tripods take up a lot of room. So a lot of times when you're working on stuff, you know, you're behind a camera, behind a tripod. It makes it a little tough to get to. The way I got this set up now, you know, either if I'm here or I'm back here working, I got access to the computer. I got access to the monitors to see everything that's going on. Anyway, I just wanted to provide this update, show y'all what I've been doing. Uh, look out for more videos. I got several videos right now in the queue that I just done here in the past week or so. So we'll get those uploaded, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye now.